Hello and welcome my Bold and Bearded Friends for daily review of Molten Brown, Mesmerizing, Oud Accord and Gold. I picked this up on my travels to Newcastle two days ago, while filming this two days ago. If you haven't watched the uh, travel blog yet, click the links. But now, review of Molten Brown. They have great packaging. First, this is just uh, the 10 mils, I believe, the 7.5 mils actually. Uh, but I will put on a photo of the, uh, the I believe, the 100 mils, which is a great uh, have the ball on top and just looks great. It's a shame it's that's expensive, I believe, 140 euros for 100 mils. But maybe in the future I will take a step and buy a full molten brown. Or the pearl. I actually don't know if they have real perfumes, as in parfum, the concentration. If you know, let me know in the comments. I, uh, I'm wondering. Also, I think it's a shame there aren't any stores in the Netherlands, but it will be a great reason to go back to the UK, I guess. So uh, let's get started. The main accords will be Oud, uh, Sweet Accord and Gold, I guess. It's a woody, aromatic fragrance, unisex and it's just to die for. Let's try it out. Let it dry a little bit. It's real projecting, real in your face. Get on to already at the in the nick of time when you spray it you get already all tobacco and oud so it's real not like it's not a clone of tobacco oud from uh, Tom Ford it's a real nice spicy bit fresh in the opening fragrant there's also a lot of sweetness and that's because of the honey but let's first talk about the top notes the top is real spicy with some nutmeg and some cinnamon, especially the nutmeg makes it all rounded out in the top to make it a full, nice, warm opening. The mid notes contain myrrh, alami and black tea, especially the black tea makes it, yeah, tea-like, haha, <laughs> no. Um, that makes it uh, a little fresher but also a bit darker because of the black tea and the myrrh and the alamai makes it a bit more resinous more well put together strong kind of scent and then we're going on to the base notes the base notes are oud tobacco honey and feather fruit, so you get the sweetness from the honey of course the, the, the bit dark is from the Agarwood, the tobacco makes it much more rounded and much more, I would almost say Christmassy, but that's perhaps I um, I made a link between Spice Bomb Extreme and Christmas, so you know that's, a, that's my Christmas scent, so that could be the reason I, I think tobacco is uh, Christmassy. Also the feather makes it a bit more darker, a bit more nicer in my opinion the longevity and the silence are both quite moderate not too heavy which is quite a shame because of the you know the heavier notes in this fragrance you would think it would last quite a while but it's a shame it's quite moderate although it states that it's unisex and even in molten brown you have the, um, the round table with all the fragrances in a, in a well not really a row because it's round but in a, in a circle uh, and not you know in portions by sex although it's quite unisex i think it's more way more leaning masculine than you know leaning female and it's mostly because of the, the spiciness, the oud, the, 
the resonance uh, accords in it. This makes it for me at least to be more masculine than women. I have to say that uh, price value proposition was quite hard for me because I hadn't heard anything about Molden Brown yet. The way you pronounce it right, Molden Brown London, yeah, I guess. I never heard before of this fragrance. Uh, I just walked in in a store because I was looking for a perfume store. So the price value proposition at the start was quite hard because I thought it was quite expensive. That's why I got the little 7.5 milliliters. But to be honest, I think if you um, laid beside, say, uh, Bleu de Chanel, you know, that this also costs around 100 euros. So a nice bottle of Modern Brown is the price more than worth it. I also got a mini sample of 1.5 milliliters of Morgan Brown Jasmine and Sun Rose. But you have to get stay tuned for this fragrance review. For now, thanks for watching and see you all next time. Ciao.